Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to talk to you about developing your own executive presence as an assistant. Because many of you are working towards the executive level to support C-level or C-suite executives. And if you've never heard of that term before, it's used to describe the high ranking executive titles in a corporation. And these C-level executives are seeking out the C-level assistants. And this is why it's so critical for you to understand and develop your own executive presence as an assistant. So let me share the qualities of a C-level assistant. Hey guys, this is Cherie from The Exceptional Assistant and my channel is all about the day-to-day -day responsibilities and scenarios of the professional assistant. So whether you're an executive assistant today looking for new tips and tricks or you're new to the administrative role, this channel will be a great source of information for you. I've worked for executive level leaders within the largest corporations in America from the gaming industry, the banking industry, and the movie entertainment industry. I've had some of the greatest executive vendors throughout the years and this is my platform to share what I know. Now let's get to the video. In all my videos, I'm either teaching you how to do something, talking you through the everyday work scenarios, and handing you my better practices. But developing your own executive presence is something so far more advanced, and this comes from developing your own interpersonal qualities. That illustrates to your executive and other high-ranking titles of your unreplaceable values, your convictions, and the power of your presence. I'd like to give you an example of an assistant's executive presence, and as I'm speaking about it, I'd like for you to start visualizing what I'm saying. I'll talk about the assistant who's running a board meeting and their executive presence in the board meeting. First, they start by preparing the room in advance. To include all working documents are binded by sections into an executive folder that follows the agenda of the meeting and individually placed at each seat of the conference room table to include a writing pad, a pen, and one bottle of water. You'll then start the PowerPoint presentation and display it on the projector screen, you'll then open the conference room phone line for call-in participants and ask them to stay on the line until the meeting begins. And as the C-level executives start walking in and once they're settled, you'll start the meeting at the front of the conference room by leading the C-level executives to open their executive folder. And you'll review the outline of the agenda and the presenters who will speak on specific topics and the time that they'll start. And then you'll move forward to ask if there's any questions before the meeting begins. And if there isn't, then you hand the meeting over to the executive who's leading the board meeting. So how did this assistant command the room full of C-level executives? I'll tell you that that's not an easy thing to do, but this assistant has designed a behavior and characteristic traits for themselves where C-level executives recognize their qualities to quiet a room with their actions and their vocal power. These assistants hold themselves on a completely different platform than any other assistants by their no-nonsense disposition, their strong convictions in themselves, to move an entire elite executive group to follow their direction in the name of the C-level executive. So now let me talk to you about the assistant's vocal power, which derives from the assistant's ability to communicate with authority. With their polished nature and their confidence in their expectations, these assistants are incredibly controlled in every situation. They understand the unreplaceable value that they hold and very unlikely to lose control of their audience. The assistant with the executive presence have positioned themselves to be a multi-level resource for their corporations and very unlikely to participate in up-talk conversations. In developing the executive presence, assistants have learned years ago that the bobblehead effect may display a lack of confidence and control. If you're not sure what a bobblehead is, it's when you're in an agreement or listening in a conversation where you start to bob your head up and down several times. It's like you lost control of your head. One simple nod is sufficient. Creating your own executive identity as an assistant takes years to design and it's one of the most single sought out attributes C-level executives look for. If you got value out of this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care.